our lives have been seeming pretty dull for a while. Nothing major, just sometimes being quiet at dinner. After 13 years, you run out of things to say, I guess, or else it's a phase? Uh, I think it's a phase. Me too. It'll pass. Ugh. Oh. We've been married for 13 years. Our anniversary was in March. So in March we went out to dinner and tried to get drunk, but we just got sleepy. We didn't try to get drunk. <laughs> I did. We had a very nice time at dinner. It's just the wine made us a little sleepy. We were in bed at 10.30. Asleep in bed, Marsha. Uh. <sighs> well, it's like you said, we were too tired. Hi. <laughs> and then the next week, I got a letter from this old classmate of mine. Wanda. He had never mentioned her. Just some old girlfriend. You know, high school. <laughs> Wanda. And Wanda said in her letter that she'd like to come visit us, and I asked Marsha if she'd mind. And I have trouble saying no. Most women do, I think. It's not pleasing or something. Anyways, Jim got this letter. And Wanda said she was going to be in our neck of the woods. And I hate that phrase, neck of the woods. And then I asked if you'd mind, and you said it would be fine. Of course I was lying. I have trouble saying no. You know that. You should have said, are you sure, or really, or something. Well, I didn't. I mean, I thought it would be fun. You know, mull over the old high school days, football games, homecoming, prom. We didn't do anything. <laughs> and really. What a fall for me. And Marsha didn't even seem to mind. I mean, I can't be a mind reader, so I wrote Wanda back saying we'd love to have her come visit. I mean, it might have been fun, and high school Wanda been quite a looker. And that's what enticed me from the beginning, to meet an old high school fantasy. Lucky me! So, we set a date, and Marsha cleaned the house. Jim refuses to clean or cook. <laughs> Wait, in fact, what do you do? Uh, I mow the lawn, she cleans the house. I always clean the house. Not very you well, because last week I found that. <laughs> Not now. Whatever. Every time, Jim. Every time. So, we waited for Wanda's visit. I'll get it. Just be Wanda. Being 
married to me is to have me decorate your house. I'm sure you underestimate yourself, Wanda. Isn't he a dreamboat? You're a dreamboat. Dreamboat! <laughs> well, say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is there anything I can eat? Pretzels or something? Or should I just wait for dinner? Dinner? Oh, you're, you're staying for dinner? She's staying for dinner? I'm staying for dinner. <laughs> um, sure. Would you like some pate in the meantime? Pate? Jimbo, where did you get this girl? The back of the New Yorker? <laughs> sure, honey, I can have pate. As long as there's some crackers with it. And some pretzels, too. Maybe some wheat thins with knives. With some Cheez-Its. Which one of those would you like? The whole smorgasbord! <laughs> okay. She's a jewel! An absolute jewel! Thanks, we've been married for 13 years. <gasps> An unlucky number. But she's a jewel. I hope she's not hard like a jewel. Just precious. Yes, yeah, she's very precious. Good. You know, Wanda, I, I hate saying this, but I, I don't recognize your face, actually. <laughs> That's very perceptive of you, Jim. I've had plastic surgery. Not the fancy, semantic kind to make your face look better. It was so they couldn't find me. So who couldn't find you? I don't want to talk about it. Well, now you've piqued my interest. What? You men are always so impatient. Uh, oh, Marsha! Here's your smorgasbord on it. Hey, Marsha, I'll just have some crackers. Oh, no, 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 no! Get him, go, get him! Hear that? You're a jewel, Marsha. Thank you. Would you like something to drink, Wanda? <laughs> Especially painful ones. 
Then I went to Ann Arbor and Jim. Marcia, I'm ashamed to tell you this. I was promiscuous. And then I decided, forget men. I think I'll become a lesbian. <laughs> wasn't attracted to women, so the whole thing just didn't make sense. <laughs> Is anyone hungry for dinner yet? Yes. Oh, Marcia sounds hungry. Let's go eat. Looks oh, you make such a fabulous homemaker, Marcia. <laughs> Thanks. Now, where did that guy? Something about you were promiscuous. Oh, I don't like to use that word. Slept around uncontrollably. That's what I prefer to say. <laughs> Did you ever do that, Marcia? <laughs> no, I was a late bloomer. Aww. Uh -huh. So then there was that guy from prison. And then there was his father, Fred. Did I tell you about Fred? No, no really but please don't. Oh, please enjoy your Fred friends. said to me, I want you to be at my anchor in the port of life. And now I think you're star crazy man. Can I this all, please? There you go. And I said, you think I'm crazy? You're the one with the hallucinations and think that your shoes go on your hands instead of your feet. <laughs> Not me, buddy boy. <laughs> did, did he do drugs or something? Don't ask her questions. What? I just wanted you to tell the story in your own words. That's all. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Marcia. You know, Jingo, I feel really close to Marcia. I'm, I'm glad. Could I have the salt, please? Sure, honey. said tranquility. Don't ask for questions. Tranquility was our dog. And I said, I'm the one who feeds tranquility. I walk tranquility. I'm the one that took tranquility when he had the worms. It was throwing up and throwing up everywhere. Because you can't just leave it there, right, Marsha? <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be right back. I hope by talking about vomit didn't make you feel sick. No, it's fine. She's not very easy to talk to. I think she had a hard day. Really? What'd she do? Spend it up in the guest room up for me? Oh! <laughs> really? I can sleep anywhere. I think I'm being evicted tomorrow. That's... So, I prefer not to be there. That's... You know. that's too bad. I roll with the punches. I like to stick to the simple things in my room. I like the colors, and textures, and silks, and cottons. I don't like corduroy. I don't like bridges. Oh, uh, hold on to that thought. I'll, I'll be right back. All hold right. on. Oh, why are you hiding in the bathroom? I need an aspirin. I can't take listening to her anymore. When is she leaving? I think she's staying the night. What? I think she's staying the night. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Did you say that? Or did she say that? I didn't want to know. What are you talking about? Uh, Marsha's <laughs> brushing your teeth, that's all. Exactly. Brushing your teeth is so intimate, isn't it? When you live with someone, you have no secrets. I decided to stay out of relationships for a while. Then I went to go work for this lawyer. Only he wasn't a regular lawyer. He was a kingpin. Kingpin? Of crime. He was a kingpin of crime. Only I didn't realize it at first. Eventually, of course, I had to get my face redone. <laughs> Let's not get into that right now. <laughs> oh, I'd like to leave the bathroom now. Okay, yeah, um... What? Wanda, Jim says you were expecting to stay overnight. Thank you, I'd love to. No, I'm just starting to scratch the old surface here with old Jimbo. Do you remember that girl that went homecoming queen? With the teeth? Uh, what was her name? I don't remember. She had teeth. Big teeth. Well, hey, I'm going to leave and make up the bedroom right. now. Can I have a squilt? I love it. Marcia, Marcia. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go play some more. 
games! <laughs> Come on, you two! No. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we played board games for four hours! I'm sorry I screamed at you during Monopoly. That's all right. I know somebody that was killed playing Monopoly. <laughs> You were great at charades, Wanda. Thanks. I'm sorry I broke the lamp. And the television. It's okay. Don't worry about now, it. Now, the guest room is right down the hallway. Oh, well, good night, you two. Sweet dreams. Good night, good night Wanda. Wanda. Oh. Good night, Marsha. Good night. Well, 
She's attracted to you. Now, stop making a big deal about all this. It's just slightly interesting for me, that's all. Oh, I understand. You know what? I think I'm going to make a trip to the nearest loony bin and find some mental patient who finds me attractive. Then I'll bring him home and make you suffer through a 48-hour visit while he drools on our carpet. Come on, Marcia, what are you doing? Stop making such a big deal about all of this. It's just, have you ever found it exciting when someone finds you attractive? I guess I've forgotten, Jimbo. I'm leaving. I'm going to the nearest A&P. Gotta get out of here. Don't be mad. Is that life I hear out there? You're awake. <laughs> uh. Do I smell coffee? Oh, thanks, Jimbo. <laughs> oh, I love this. You're like a little house slave. <laughs> Where's Marsha? She didn't wake up dead or anything. <laughs> no, she went to the A and P. That's awful of me to say. I don't want her dead. I'm just jealous of what she has. I'm not so special. Oh, Jimbo, you are. Uh, uh, what? I think I slept funny on my back. Oh, your, your back hurts? A tense muscle or something. Oh, well, I'm not a professional masseur or anything, but uh, I could probably massage it for you if you want. Would you? Sure. Oh, thanks, Jimbo. Why not? Uh, Here? No, it's a lower back, Jimbo. Right, right, right. muscle, you know. It, it's completely innocent, Marsha. Jimbo's your guy. You're her guy, Jimbo. It's just my back hurts. I see tension in the lower back. I have tension in the back of my head. And it feels like it might have split open. So you know what? I'm going to go lie down in that guest room that you never got into. Okay. Oh, and Jimbo, if you have a second, the car has a flat tire on the corner of Pleasant View and Maple. I suggest you get out. I'll get it right now. No, Jimbo. Finish the back row. You've convinced me that it's completely innocent. So finish it. Uh, well, she said to finish it. I, I don't feel comfortable with her house. Look, she said it was all right. So let's take her at her word. Fine. Quiet. Oh! Okay, I didn't touch you that time. Look, I, I can't do this. I have to go take care of that tire. Can I come with you? No, stay here. You, you can soak in the bathtub for your back. All right. Thanks for the backup, Jimbo. Marsha, do you have any bubble bath? What? Do we have any bubble bath? Jimbo won't finish the backup, and I need to relax. Back up, I. Wait, what was the question? Bubble bath, do we have any? Bubble bath. Yes, I'm sure we do. You know, but it might be a good idea if Jimbo here would like to pour it on you in the bathtub. <laughs> Marsha, please. Kinky. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't I cook dinner for you guys tonight? No. Do you like octopus? It's, it's really oh. fine, Wanda. You know, I've actually. starting to vibrate. They are? Yes. So we'll go to a nice restaurant where they will take care of us, okay? So Slide by, by me. Oh, this restaurant is so pretty. And the wine is so classical. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Closest we could get, Madame. All right. Here's mud in your eye. 
restaurant was considerably less intense, and eventually as time went on I was made head waiter. For a while I liked the additional money and the added responsibility, but after a while I realized I wasn't doing what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be an actor, I mean, uh, but, but then again, this isn't about me, is it? And all that happened a few weeks ago. Wanda still hasn't been found, but she's probably fine. I feel really bad about what happened. I wasn't a good hostess. No, Marcia, she's probably fine. Wanda's sort of like a bacteria. Wherever she is, she seems to grow on and on and on and she's probably fine. Yeah, I, but right before she started choking on the fishbone, I had this momentary stray thought of wanting her to choke on the fishbone, and then she suddenly did. It was exactly what I wanted. On some sort of way, I feel like I tried to kill her. And then the thugs came in and carried her away. It was exactly what I wanted. Marsha, it's not your responsibility. I, I chose the restaurant. You're not omnipotent. There's, that could have happened to anybody, right? Yeah, it just was the most awful two days. Well, three days, counting the meeting with the police. Well, some good came out of it, right? We got to a big argument, and that was good. It cleared the air. I said what I was feeling, which was mostly negative, but good to say. It cleared the air. One thing that I said was that I don't feel joy much, or hardly at all. Right, we don't feel joy much, but... We join an aerobics class, right? To get the blood moving. Studies show that when you move around, you tend to feel better. Oh, and we're seeing this new marriage counselor who specializes in breaking down the fear of intimacy between people who've known one another for longer than 10 years. <laughs> and we fit that. So, all told, 
Wanda's visit helped us stir up in a good way, all told. Right. Blessings come in unexpected ways. Right. Now, if only we were happy. Right. Ugh.